Hey, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, really appreciate everybody for the last couple days of uh, following my videos, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, anyways, uh, I'm back down here. Obviously, I'm at the beach where we had all the uh, the flooding and chaos over the last couple days. Um, I'm just going to come down, pick up a little bit more trash. Got my little handy dandy uh, trash picker upper. And let me tell you, this guy right here is not a sponsor or anything, but I tell you what, man, this thing, uh, it really came in clinch yesterday. So I didn't have to bend over and pick up all that trash by hand. But anyways, that's not really why we're here. I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys real quick. So you may have seen on some others, I, I posted, I just had two pictures that I was able to get when I uh, had that first video there um, with the trailer that's pretty beat up, the truck and the trailer. And um, somebody had reached out to that family um, and they got in touch with me and sent me a bunch of um, pictures and videos from the uh, incident basically when it was all going down uh, trying to save their stuff and and their neighbors and everything that was they all camped together um, so anyways uh, I'm gonna get some of that stuff edited up should be in here shortly um, I kept hearing people on other social media pages you know talking about well um, you know they they should have known there was a storm coming this and that and I, apparently state parks had a little warning about high tides and stuff like that and um, the thing was is yes everybody knew that there was gonna be some some good high tides that weekend but like I, I kind of mentioned the other day we kind of know where those high tide marks are um, so it wasn't that big of a deal it was just kind of like, okay, yeah, you want just camp a little higher than uh, normal. Matter of fact, uh, some people said that, um, I believe it was state parks told them just to camp as close up to the fences as you can and you should be fine. Well, um, apparently nobody knew how bad this was going to be because if you look at the regular news, there was flooding and... Um, waves that were you know out of the norm where they were breaking over seawalls going down streets all the way up and down the coast of california um the next little town up the road here avila their whole parking lot is full of water and it's a giant swimming pool um and if somebody would have known that it was going to be this bad obviously they probably would have took more precautions higher uh, sandbags better barricade stuff like that all the way down the coast into Ventura there's pictures of uh, waves coming up and basically overtaking fire trucks and stuff like that so you can't tell me that they knew if they did the other surrounding areas uh, towns would have uh, known and would have been better prepared they wouldn't have suffered um, the flooding and chaos like we did here also but at any rate uh, like I mentioned before guys can see these T posts right here <clears throat> that's as far up as these people were able to camp and you can see by all the debris in here how far the water went back in there and I mean I'm looking and I could um, every bit of 75 to 100 yards I can see debris back in there so this people that camped right here kind of got trapped um, they couldn't go any further uh, now the people that are way up in the back over there, those are people that were kind of down around the, the corners here and they didn't quite hit get hit so bad and was able to move before it had really uh, gotten hold of any of the, the trucks and trailers. Uh, this whole area right here used to be our prime camping. So we knew that if there was a um, high surf advisory, high tides, uh, that right here where we're standing right now, this would be still no man's land for camping we knew that you didn't start to camp until you know we were back into this area a little bit but they decided to come and close us all down um for some bs reason had something to do with some birds or something um but i don't want to get into all of that right now uh i just want to kind of update you guys on what was going on with the uh, camping situation and once again i appreciate you guys following hit that like subscribe button sharing with your friends and uh 
I'm just going to go out here and pick up a little bit of trash while the sun's still up. They didn't let us on the beach until uh, I think it was a little after one today because um, we were still having, they weren't excessively high tides. They were like normal high tides for us. But I think they're just, now they're being a little bit more precautious because of all the, uh, or taking better precautions and being cautious um, because of the incidents that unfolded over the last few days out here. So. Thanks. So hey, real quick, I just wanted to jump on here. I noticed, uh, well, I looked down here and I saw these guys parked. And then I started looking around and they, they got trash bags. They're out there picking up too. Good job, guys. All right, folks, so <laughs> this is this is a first. Uh, so I was over here. I came over here to pick up this piece of wood. You can kind of see the outline where it was laying. And I looked over and I was like, what the heck? If you all don't know what those are, these are gopher mounds. And we are literally out here in the middle of the dunes. You can see how close we are to the ocean. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I used to be a trapper. Uh, so, I did all kinds of wildlife management stuff. Um, I even dabbled in gophers for a little while. So, uh, yeah, in the, uh, what, geez, I did that for about 12-ish years, I want to say something like that. Um, I've never had or seen, and, and as long as I've been coming out here to these dunes, I've been coming out here since I was like, I don't know, 17, 18, something like that, and uh, I'm 50 now. That's more fingers than I got um, to do the math. But anyways, uh, I've, I've never seen a gopher down here this close to the beach before, so uh, that was kind of uh, amazing. So I turned around and there's another guy over here with the trash bag. I guess he just drove by, saw us out here. There's this other family, I don't know where they're at. I think they're they're back over that way somewhere but uh yeah it's everything there's mom dad and three little kids i mean the youngest one might be like i don't know four ish or so but uh it's good to see people stopping and just helping out when they can <laughs> 